OK, we're back in Spring Barley again today, the same field we were in the last time. It's not one of Kevin's. The scheduled application that we had expected was going to go on within a day or two of being here the last time didn't happen purely because of weather. We saw a little bit of rain on the horizon, so we chose to hold off until that rain fell, which we did, and it has made one or two more weeds just spring up. So this evening we're going to be going with the aphicide with a drop of K2 or Cycosel to help plant it out. And we're also going to be going in this neck of the woods with Cameo Max, Galaxy will be with it. Um, we've received a few questions about which of the herbicides is best to go with within the FMC range, whether you go Ally Max, Cameo Max, Biplay, Calibre, Harmony or any of the others. I always make the point, with the exception of a few peculiar weeds, any of those herbicides with the right tank mix partner will clean the field for you. It's about rate and it's about timing. The particular weeds you need to watch out for, marigold, corn marigold if you have it, possibly resistant. That requires a specific partner which will be galaxy or the shield within it. If you have resistant chickweed and a lot of it you probably as well go for cheap and cheerful fluoroxypur. Or if you're unlucky and you're in one of the areas which perhaps has resistant poppy problems, you may be better off looking at one of the oxen type um, partners as the tank mixer to the FMC SU herbicide. Talking about the regulator we were going to use, you've heard me talk about creating the yield potential in spring barley. This crop is just at one, two, three, four tillers with the main stem. So it's planting out nicely of its own, but again, the date of the year we're in, the crop wants to go up. It knows by day length the time of the year. It doesn't want to plant out anymore. So hitting it now with that regulator will help maintain and increase tiller numbers to, to give us yield. Um, beyond that, no BYDV is obviously going to be evident yet, but again, the temperature is rising, aphids will be moving, so you cannot ignore that risk. I keep going on about nutrition. Yes, we sell foliar feeds, as do a lot of other people. Um, obviously, I'm going to promote my own products because I believe in them, but people say, why spend so much? Um, in an article that was put up on AgriLand recently, which those who've come accustomed to my way of doing things probably put two and two together and know that I wrote it, it's very simple in my mind, about 20% of the cost you're going to put into a spring barley crop comes through the sprayer, whether it's your growth regulator, your herbicide, your insecticide, your fungicide, your foliar nutrition. Your other 80% is done, it's gone, it's spent. So whether you cut a two and a half ton crop or a three and a half ton crop, that cost is already there. These latter inputs, all we're trying to do is maximize the yield potential, and it's all about head numbers. The more time, effort, TLC you put on this crop now to plant it out to maximise grain numbers per ear, that is where your yield is going to come from. You're not going to get it later on at flag leaf. That's only protecting it. And again, it's part of the reason, yes, we sell Trioris, but I absolutely believe in this product I have since we launched it. Another key aspect of Trioris, that because it's around a number of years, it was launched in 2013, a lot of the trade has actually forgotten this. There is scientific evidence there that Trioris, the pentiopyrid molecule, enhances roots to such an extent, it can actually give up to double the amount of roots when you scientifically weigh them and measure them than some of the other market leading SDHIs. So roots is what it's all about to get the crop up and going. It's very, very simple. Nutrients in the soil need to get to the roots. They get to the roots through the pore space in the soil, providing there is moisture there to carry the nutrients. So if you have more roots, you catch more moisture, you get more nutrients. Things like the minor manganese, copper, zinc, again around here, the land needs it, you have to apply it. But I will spend a lot of money early on spring barley and that creates the potential. You're almost coasting then with your T2 fungicide. You've done the work, you coast through, just keep it clean, spend your money now, create the potential. You can't fail. You're, you're talking about figures in the region of, to put in a litre of Trioris on a T1 spring barley, if you spend, I'm just loosely going to throw out a figure of about 20 euro per hectare extra, we have any amount of years data to show that that returns probably in the order of 35, 40 euros worth of extra yield. You can't see that with your eye. You, you need a trial to record it with scientific measurement. If you put 20 euro in the bank and come back in three months, and they're giving you 35 euro. You'd put every 20 euro you had in the bank. It's hard to see that in the field, but the evidence is there. I welcome people when they ask me to prove it because we have the data. Spend early, reap the rewards later.